Surprise, surprise, surprise. Hello, and welcome to Construction Rocks, episode number five. Hang on a second. All right, on this episode of Construction Rocks, we'll be talking about a tool that has been around since the cavemen times. Specifically, the hammer. My favorite construction tool of all time. Mwah. Now, there are 900 different types of hammers in the world today. They can range from fiberglass, wood, steel, plastic, and they can weigh in between 7 to 32 ounces. But the most common hammer that you can find at a construction site is a 16 ounce hammer that is either fiberglass or wood. But the rule of thumb is, is that the heavier the hammer is and the longer the handle, the easier it is to pound in a nail. Now there are a few safety guidelines that we have to go over, of course. So the first rule, as always, wear your eye protection because you can never know when a metal fragment may come up and hit you in the eyeball. Ah, eh, who needs safety glasses? Ah! My eye! Second, you must put your fingers up as you're nailing. This reduces the chance of, you know, you accidentally hitting your fingers as you're nailing. Okay, this time I'm wearing safety glasses. Sheesh. Ah! Oh, my thumb! <laughs> and third, tap the nail first and then hit it full on. This reduces the chance of the nail flying off and hitting somebody. All right, here we go. Uh, is everybody okay? All right, now with safety out of the way, let's talk about some common hammers that you would find at a construction site. So to start out with, we have the claw hammers right here. The curved claw hammer, which is these guys, are the ones that have a curved edge to their claw, as you can see right there. And the straight claw hammer, or the ripping hammer, has a straight claw right there, as you can see. It's straighter than the curved claw. And as you can see, we have wood and fiberglass handles. Now these types of hammers are commonly found at a construction site. Their purpose is to pound in nails as well as rip them out if needed. We also have hammers like the ball peen hammers right here. Now most people confuse this hammer with the claw hammer in terms of its function. The metal on the ball peen hammer is much softer than the claw hammer, so its function is really for metal working. Now, the force of impact with a hammer against a sheet of metal or a hammer against a hammer, it has a force of energy against each other, right? Now, if you were to hit soft metal with soft metal, or even worse, hard metal with hard metal, that force of impact won't balance out where to absorb that energy. So in turn, it could possibly shatter the metal. That is why the ball paint hammer is used for hard metal working, because now the force of impact can balance out between soft metal and hard metal. We also have a mallet right here, which helps out hitting chisels or when trying to position soft wood. Now this, this mallet is a rubber mallet, which is just mainly used for positioning wood. Don't try to hit it with a chisel, okay? We also have a sledgehammer right here, which can reposition wall frames or even destroy wood if needed. Yeah. Now let me show you some hammer tricks that can be useful when building a house. Now, let's say you want to join these two pieces of wood perpendicularly. Well, how are you going to do that without going in straight like that? 
Well, a possibility could be toe nailing, which can be you know, more effective than just going in straight, actually. So, to start out with, you get a nail like this, okay? And then you put the nail at a 30 degree angle with this wood. And then you start bracing your knee against the board right here. And then you start tapping in like so. And just keep pounding in until you kind of see the tip coming out right there. And then once you see the tip, then you can start <coughs> tapping this against there. And then you can start There you go. Toe nailing 101. Oh yeah. Now another trick that you can do is when you want to join two pieces of wood together like this. Most people just, you know, just hammer straight down and into connecting the two, which is okay, but it's not going to be the very most effective way of combining them together. So, just like before, toe nailing can solve that problem. So what you do is, once again, you put it at that angle, like so. And then you keep nailing And there you go. It's very strong now. I can't, I can't break it Urgh! because it's at that angle like so. So there's another tip for you if you want to combine two pieces of wood in a very strong manner. Well, I hope you have enjoyed and learned about the hammer as much as I did. And this is personally my favorite tool because you can break things or fix things with it. Look out for my next episode. I am always John Castler. And since it's almost Christmas time, we might as well end this episode with a musical. says that there's no Santa Claus. <laughs> I see him all the time.